let's talk about code intelligence in code search. So as we are searching, if we hover over certain items, we can get code intelligence. If I click into this result here for the new auth provider, and you can see the new auth provider right here, if I hover over it, we're getting code intelligence now. And what we can see here is we are at the definition of new auth provider. If I click find references, here's the intelligence part of this. We get all of the references to this specific definition. And you can see that it's used in this uh, internal slash runner slash runner dot go file and this SDK private dot go file. That's how we can see where the references to this are. If there are any implementations or prototypes, you will see those as well. Now, the thing I want to call out here is that there are different types of code intelligence. If I hover over this, you can see that up here on the top right, this is a precise search. We have two different types of code intelligence. We have search-based code intelligence and we have precise code intelligence. And here we have this label for precise. The data comes from a pre-computed code intelligence index of this project's source code. So what does that mean? This means that the precise search means that anytime you see a reference to this or a definition, that you can be sure that that is the exact usage of that function. So uh, if I saw those two references for new auth provider, I know that these are pointing directly to this definition. The search-based code intelligence is not compiler accurate, which means that it could search for the uh, same word across different repos, but it won't always be sure that that is an actual compiler-ready reference that is navigated across your code base. Precise code intelligence requires administrator setup at the company level. It can't be set up by individual users since it does take a little bit more work, but it does eliminate issues when you're searching for code like name collisions across different repositories. It does provide more accuracy in your definitions, in your references. And if you see here, there's a button mix precise and search-based results. Right now we're only showing precise results. If I click this button, you'll see that there's another reference added, but it's actually the file that we're currently in, which is the definition. So it kind of just said, hey, I found it again, even though that's not a reference, that's just the definition itself. If I go back to hiding the search-based results, you'll see that there are only two references and those are the accurate ones. So I hope that helps. It's important to know the difference between search-based and precise code intelligence.